Hello, this is a review or response to Elizabeth Blackburn's TEDx talk from spring of 2017, which I just saw. First, let me mention some of the positive things about this talk. Elizabeth Blackburn is a completely beautiful and lovable in this talk. I just can't help seeing what a wonderful human being she is and how much she cares about humanity and about her curiosity and how she discovered telomeres. So she's a Nobel Prize winning uh, scientist who discovered telomerase. Actually, she didn't discover telomeres, but she discovered the enzyme telomerase. And the enzyme telomerase and her discovery play into the talk, and it's quite beautiful. Another beautiful thing about the talk is that she shares um, a lifestyle, lifestyle or uh, things we can do about how we live that will give us longer telomeres. In particular, reducing stress and meditating are now scientifically proven to help people keep their telomeres longer for a longer amount of time and hence slow the aging process. Uh, also, she makes a good exp explanation in the talk about how uh, telomere shortening drives the aging process and that once those telomeres have gotten too short, death is the inevitable result. So, that's some of the great things about her talk. Uh, also, another piece in there is that I felt like her talk encourages young women to go into science and encourages uh, mothers to support their children being curious and reward their curiosity. So we'll get more Elizabeth Blackburn type people in the future. So that's the, all the positive stuff. Now, on the negative, I think she makes a pretty grave scientific error that is a s typical human error in that when she came up with the telomerase discovery, she also created a hypothesis for why telomerase is repressed in most of our cells. And the hypothesis she came up with is that telomerase is repressed because if it isn't repressed, then um, we might get more cancers. Now, this hypothesis, she's still holding it out there as if it's true, and there have been, there have been a few research reports that have been interpreted to be uh, like supporting that hypothesis, but actually the, the bigger body of literature and a, and a bigger reading, if, if someone looks at this at the evidence that's come in since she made that hypothesis back in 1998, uh, it's the evidence is actually overwhelming that telomerase, although telomerase is turned on in cancer cells, so almost all cancer lines have telomerase turned on, but there is no believable evidence that if telomerase was, would, was turned on, it would give more cancers. In fact, if telomerase is turned on and telomeres are kept long, the evidence indicates we would have less cancers. So that is unfortunate that this Nobel Prize winning, very charming and endearing woman is continuing to promote uh, basically she just poo poos the idea oh don't no need don't don't do these silly things to lengthen your telomeres just meditate and hey you know she's taking a lot of years off people's lives if, if I had followed her advice I would be biologically many years older right now instead of getting younger so 
I disagree and when I publish this video I'll link you to some scientists who are making a case that Elizabeth Blackburn is wrong. So I, I just want to get that into the, into the record, that she's a wonderful person, but she's falling into the error that so many scientists have done historically, which is to cling to their old hypotheses and not accept the evidence that goes against what they once staked their reputation on and we'll just have to wait for them to die out, I guess, which is how, that's, that's one argument against life extension, <laughs> is that maybe it requires, maybe people have to die in order for the body of knowledge to move forward. That is, that is a real problem. So, uh, but I don't want Elizabeth Blackburn to die. I want her to live on and actually to lengthen her telomeres more than she'll ever be able to do with meditation, although she's doing it with meditation and living a low-stress lifestyle, I totally am happy she's doing that. It's just that isn't enough. We need telomerase. All right, over and out.